OpenAI is finally going open source again. Yes, the very same company that's been notoriously closed since GPT-2 is finally releasing an open weight model once again. So why now? Why the change of heart, the sudden Ridha Parivartan? After all the closed models, monetized APIs, billion dollar valuation leaps, is OpenAI choosing to open up again? Let's break it down for you. Back in 2019, OpenAI released GPT-2, their last major open weight model. Everything after that, closed, shut. Even IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav took a jab at their name. But to be honest, OpenAI is not that closed also. They have previously open sourced a lot of models including, say, Whisper, Clip, Pointy and others as well. But from the LLM perspective, yes, they've been cautious. GPT-3 came with an API, GPT-4 was never even confirmed to be real for months. GPT-4.0 is still locked behind ChatGPT Pro. But now, it is preparing to release a powerful new open weight language model. One that developers can run locally, fine tune, even modify deploy securely for national level use cases. So once again, the same question, why the sudden pivot? Reason number one, competitive pressure from open source rivals. And of course, we have to talk about DeepSeek. China's DeepSeek just launched an open model which ranked number five globally. OpenAI just had to respond. And open source models are now a developer's favorite. Why you ask? Because they allow on-prem deployments, full customization, data sovereignty, a research-grade transparency, and a lot more. So obviously, developers would love it. Reason number two, as we ended the last reason, the developer community demand. OpenAI says that they've heard from developers loud and clear. From startups to governments, people want models that they can control. This is especially true for countries and industries with very uh, strict data laws where API calls to a US company just don't work. They're now hosting feedback sessions across, say, San Francisco, Europe, and APAC as well to shape how this open model should evolve. Reason number three, strategic sovereignty. OpenAI's pivot is not just philosophical, it's geopolitical as well. In a world where sovereign AI matters more than ever, having an open model means governments can train on secure data. Hospitals can run AI on local servers. Defense organizations can use AI in air-gapped environments as well. And let's be real, this also builds trust. In a time when closed models raise questions about, uh, say, bias, safety, alignment, OpenAI's open model will let researchers audit safety features. It can test biases, evaluate performance independently. But let's not forget, OpenAI says that this model will still grow through their preparedness framework, just like any other model that they release. They are aware that it will be modified post-release and they are doing extra alignment work in advance. This is not a free-for-all. It's OpenAI being a deliberate, responsible, collaborative. So what can we expect? We can expect a powerful model with solid reasoning capabilities, modifiable weights, open for research, uh, enterprise, innovation, and most of all, a signal that OpenAI is serious about staying relevant in the open ecosystem. Sam Altman said it best. We want everyone to use it. No silly limits. So whether you are a, a researcher, policymaker, founder, coder, or just curious, this is your moment. The most powerful AI company on earth is about to open its gates again. The only question is, what will you build with it? Let us know in the comments below. Make it long. We want to read. We want to discuss. For more such deep dives from the entire world of tech and AI, don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AI.